Hello R2 Aliens and welcome, I'm Paul Yateman. I dressed off. Yesterday I drew this. Uh, today's plan is to draw either one or two of these Plague Doctors. If I do two, because they've got different styles and maybe I can adapt both of them to be something like t-shirt art or something. I was thinking about doing a Tim Burton style Eon Flux, which is why we have this and his. Uh, that's a revisit of a shark thing I did on my very first day. Uh, I might do Eon Flux tomorrow, perhaps. But today, let's do the Plague Doctor or Doctors. I produced today's drawing over two days, starting on day 25 of my challenge and ending on day 26 with both marker and digital colouring. I am showing the marker colouring process and the completed digitally coloured piece will be shown at the end. As for the bulk of my drawings, I start with blue pencil and this takes me about 8 minutes which I find is typical if preliminary sketches have already been completed. Today I raise a bit more than usual and end up with some wonky proportions and angles. These are fine for the Burton-esque style I am going for. My inking begins with 0.5 fine liner and I use a 0.8 to add thickness and I go a bit overboard in spots. I add some shading in the form of hashes and thicker line work. For something new and different I add some texture to the hat based on using alternating perpendicular lines. Though both busts are different I add additional differentiation by giving one rivets on his goggles while the other gets stripes. I also give the hooded bust stripes for his, her, slash its hood. Following the inking, I scanned my image in and coloured it in Photoshop. And after that, I got stuck into marker colouring. So that gave me some ideas about how to actually colour in the sketch here. My N4 and N2 markers seemed to be running out of ink, so I refilled them and the N4 really laid down ink, probably a bit darker than I intended. I've kept the refilling process in as maybe that'll be of interest for those wondering about that. And you don't want it in its own specific video which would make things a hell of a lot more convenient. You can see here the difference between one coat of running out ink versus full ink as both heads have N4 applied to them. Here is the image once line art has been applied and again after the marker colouring. I think I could have gone darker for the stripes or at least the lighter areas on the left. My Photoshop colouring has also added a nice hat chat box. So what do you think? Have a go at your own version of style and tag me in the comments or on social media. And if you found this interesting, informative, entertaining, you were inspired to draw in your own sketchbook, journal, etc. Subscribe, like, and share. Until next time, you have been watching Drawing Stuff with me, Paul Yatesman. Ciao, take care, and happy drawing.